Hello, I'm Ivor. I'm one of the congregation at St Andrews and I'm going to tell you a little bit of my story. Four years ago I was in a terrible state. I was really rock bottom, I was anxious, I was depressed and much as I'm an anxious person normally this was a whole new level. Um, I really sort of felt what a real true panic attack is like and I just had endless numbers of them. Um, I'd moved to Malvern um, from a very settled situation in Gloucester and um, what happened when I moved here wasn't anything like uh, what I expected. Um, I'd come from a house which I was very happy in to one which on the surface had seemed okay but which had many many problems and I just got dragged down more and more and more. I didn't know anybody in the area, all my friends are back at home, in, well I say home, back in Gloucester and elsewhere, so I felt really really lonely. On top of that my wife Jenny was working more than full time in Gloucester as a nurse, um, so she wasn't there with me very much at all, so um, in, in a strange place, nobody to talk to, nobody to really know, I just felt desperate. Excuse me referring to my notes, but I haven't got that good a memory. Um, so after some weeks I, f I thought I'd looked at St Andrews when I went out for walks and I thought well let's go in and see what happens. So I walked in through the door, I was very anxious about doing so and, and didn't know what to expect. My main aim was to actually just try and meet people, to talk to people, to get to know people, to perhaps make friends in time. Um, as I walked through the door I was an amazing welcome. There was sort of so many people, so friendly, so warm. There was a vibrant, comforting and friendly feeling about the place. And it, it could have been very different if there'd been if there hadn't been that sort of welcome, then I could well have just turned around and thought, well I won't, actually I won't bother. But you know, that they made me feel so comfortable going into the building. Um, and it felt as if I was just accepted. At that point I actually thought to myself, well, you know, that was a good move and I knew that I would be coming back. It wasn't just a one-off visit that I would say think to myself, well, that was very nice, but, but, but you know, it's not for me. Um, and I thought, well, you know, this is a good start and maybe things will just get better for me. Uh, so, was that it? I'd had my distraction, I'd met people, I had the startings of, of some sort of socialising there. Um, I knew it would take time but at least I'd made a start. So from there of, co of course I went into this service and um, that next hour was really quite amazing. It was something I wasn't expecting. I really really was uh, quite taken aback because I wasn't looking for it. Um, all I was after really was just you know sort of a, a solution to my problems. But I felt a change. Um, I just felt a great reassuring comfort and I, I realised that something was happening to me. And I can only put it down to the fact that God was talking to me at that time. And um, you, you know, that this had been his plan. I'm not over fanciful and I don't sort of have, I don't sort of have rose tinted imaginations, but you know, genuinely I feel that's what happened. So what has, so four years later, what's happened? What, what, what has been the result of this? Well, it's still happening and it's still ongoing. Um, it, you know, I don't think we ever sort of get to the end of a journey. But I know now that through coming to church that first time, I found God. I've got the help I was after. I've found peace that I didn't know before. I've got hope. I've got strength. It's not there all the time, but it is for much of the time and things are never as bad as they were in those early days. I've, I don't worry as much as I used to because I feel now that God's in control of a lot of a lot of things in my life. Um, I have my choices but at the same time when I'm having struggles and difficulties I know that I can turn to God and he's there every time. Um, one thing I always think of when I am having a difficult time is a passage in Isaiah 
church says that, that those who trust the Lord will find new strength and I find that every single time that works and it just gives me that little boost whether physical or mentally just to get through that little moment. So now I, no I now know God as a result of all of this. I know that Jesus is always there by my side, never leaves me for a moment. I know that I've got the Holy Spirit who's just steering me and guiding and prompting and whispering. I feel I've got a purpose and I've got a reason and I think I mean something now. Whereas this was something that, that really didn't figure strongly with me in the past. That initial reason that I had for coming to church to meet people, well now I know more people across Malvern, not just in St Andrews and All Saints, but in Littleton Well, in the Priory. I've got to know more people than I ever knew in, than I ever knew in Gloucester. I've found a lot more than that. I've, I've, I've found God and I think it was a very difficult time in life, my life, but you know, if anybody watching this is in a difficult spot, a difficult situation, and they haven't uh, thought of coming to church to find a little bit more out, then I would say give it a go and try it. It's not going to hurt, and what happened to me could happen to you.